For a preview of tonight's game and more, we're joined by MLB Network analyst and former major leaguer Harold Reynolds. Harold, good to see you, sir. Pleasure. Thank you for having me. Um, I hate to bring this up. Last time the Cubs were in this position, game six, up 3 2, was 2003. <laughs> I know, and they blew it. Against the Marlins. This was. She the, sounds like a real Cubs fan. She, she, <laughs> I mean, she's on pins and needles. They're the well, most let's, nervous let's, people there, there are Dodgers fans out there as well <laughs> there here. There are. Um, that was the Bartman game, as we right. see, uh, when Steve Bartman, who we haven't heard from um, since, interfered. Um, obviously, a, a, a difficult memory for Cubs fans. But tonight, I mean, they would seem to be in a pretty good position with, with Kyle Hendricks going, yeah. maybe the best pitcher in baseball this year, certainly one of them. Yeah. Um, but the Dodgers have Clayton Kershaw. Well, and that's the thing. You know, Clayton Kershaw going today, the formula for the Dodgers is to get Kershaw to Kenley Jansen. And if they do that... They got a shot, but I, I'm feeling the Cubs right now. They're on a great roll. They turned things around the last couple days. Been playing pretty good ball. Uh, it could be interesting. And Chicago will be crazy, like our person sitting over here, like Jamie. <laughs> the, the Cub fans are nuts. I mean, it, you want to see them break the curse, don't you? Well, you do, but, you know, you look at the Dodgers haven't been there since 88. So yeah, in so. 88, that's not that long ago. I mean, come on, 1945 to 1988. The Dodgers have an extraordinary legacy as well. I mean, these are these are all a, a great franchises. If the Cubs race. win, they have to go on to play Cleveland. Right. Cleveland did very well against the sure Toronto did. Blue Jays. So what do we think would happen there? Well, I think it's a great matchup. Whoever Cleveland plays against, they're, they're a little bit different than everybody else in the fact that they got Andrew Miller, who uh, he's been like the best player right now, pitcher yep. that they've been using fourth inning, fifth inning, ninth inning. He's an amazing weapon, so neither club has that weapon. But I think also what Cleveland's done is, is athletically, they're running bases, they're putting pressure on people, and we haven't seen that a lot from the other clubs, so they'd be different in that dynamic. And cl quickly, Cleveland has had some, some big injuries um, at the end of the season here, but they, they still persevered, and, and, and as you said, playing very, very well, and, and they've had a chance to, they have a chance to reset their rotation no matter who they play. True, and, and they've had the time off, and what they'll do in that time off is play some inter-squad games. They may get Salazar back, one of their top pitchers who got hurt during the season. We're also hearing, remember the bloody pinky the other day yes. with, oh. with Trevor Bauer? He may also, he's came out and said, hey, I think I'll be fine. We'll see how that goes. So their pitching might be a little bit better than we anticipated. Jamie was fixing some drones, thankfully <laughs> uninjured, right, just, just yes, before the show this oof. morning. Harold, uh, thank you so much. And, and enjoy the game tonight. should right, be a lot of fun. You. you can catch Harold on MLB Network's MLB Tonight throughout the World Series. Yes.